The challenge is always the same. I don't have the money, I don't have the space, or I don't have the person to run it. Right? Those are the three big hurdles. Expense is gonna determine, be determined by what you're actually buying, right? You can start with one hydro tower set. What we have behind us, each set of eight towers with the LED lights was less than $2,000. And you, know, you can put together a, a full production urban farm like this you know, for uh, about $50,000. And that's all the equipment and, and, you know, outsourcing all of the, you know, the, the construction and, and, and training for the staff. And, you know, and that's, that's what we provide. Um, but you can also start small by teaching lessons that don't require a big investment in, in assets. Um, to do a, a single set of, of hydroponics towers and to buy a curriculum that goes along with that and to be able to teach, you know, 30, 40 lessons, uh, most of which you're gonna repeat multiple times, it could take you an entire semester to work through that curriculum. And, and you're talking about an investment of, you know, less than $3,000. Space isn't a problem. Starting small and going big is exactly what it sounds like. Most schools have a budget that won't allow them to do everything. The idea of space being a problem is only derived from the fact that most people don't know what's possible. That a lot of educators don't understand that you can build an entire edible learning lab with production of a, fall, a small farm that can live in the hallways or be scattered among classrooms or even be shared between schools. We, we've been able to develop technology to the point, like with the, the farm walls, that you can put them almost anywhere. So when you look at the curriculum, we've built it around the concept of teach the teacher. The hard part is knowing how to engage the kids in the classroom, knowing how to keep them on task, knowing how to, it's everything that a professional teacher has learned through their years of education to be a teacher. So understanding how to leverage our curriculum with Bright Agro Tech's equipment is so much easier than you think and the support is there when you need it. If you feel like you don't understand something, we're available to help you with it. The entire curriculum and each individual lesson uh, come with um, related resources. The whole idea is explain it to the teachers in a way that they understand it and then give them the, the freedom to be able to present it to their students the way they want to. What we see administrators responding to most often is define why we need to have this. And the answer that seems to resonate most often is not only can we teach students about growing plants and the science and biology and chemistry behind all of that, but we also get to utilize this lab as a learning space for all of those other disciplines. We're able to bring math into it. We're able to bring statistics and forecasting and even art. We have a few of our lessons that hinge on um, the creative aspects, designing a seed packet from scratch. So I think that the, the advice that I would give on, on trying to develop that, that buy-in from administrators up front is number one, try to put success in front of them. Talk about what you know the Edible Learning Lab here in Buffalo is doing, what Bright Agro Tech um, urban farmers are doing, because at the end of the day, you know, every edible learning lab is an urban farm anyway, right? I mean, we're doing this indoors and we're producing a pretty substantial harvest. Um, and, and I think administrators seeing that there are some points to edible education, that it's a program that not only um, gives them the opportunity to teach things that are, are valuable to students, but also has the opportunity to generate revenue, that makes it unique. Uh, I think the, uh, the best approach is do what you need to do to get your administrators to carve out that 15 or 20 minutes to, to see what's possible. Wondering where you can get more information? Brightagrotech.com, their blog is packed with unbelievable knowledge base along with the YouTube channel. You can be sure to check that out. 
modernstetter.com on the Edible Learning Lab page. You can actually even drill down into our resource library and look at the supporting materials that we have for each lesson and even get into some of the recipes that we teach in the teaching kitchen.